go. Today we will be making banana bread. Okay, so what we did with our hair is mommy put it up, or your hair is already up, right? We washed our hands. Yes. Why are you touching your hair that you just washed them now? Okay, here we go again. <laughs> okay, so we already measured out all, all our ingredients because in class we don't have a lot of time, right? But we're going to show them a few different things. So we, as usual, we're going to use butter. One stick, I've measured out the sugar, the vanilla, the lemon juice. I have two eggs cracked in separate bowls and mashed banana. So Jake's going to actually show you how to mash a banana with the back of a fork. Now with bananas, you want your banana to look like this. You wouldn't want to eat a banana with all those black spots and stuff, but this banana like this means that it's very, very sweet. So when your bananas start going bad, let them go bad, okay, because it's best for banana bread. You don't want to make banana bread with the yellow uh, banana. It's not going to be sweet at all. And what does mommy do with the banana bread? What do I do after it comes out of the oven? You what do I do with it? Uh, on daddy. I don't do that, but what, what do I you do? You hide it. I hide it. I write. Sometimes in the oven. Sometimes I, in, an, in an oven that's off. So banana bread is best to be eaten 24 hours after making it, right? Because it gets sweeter as the flavors blend. So basically what Jake's going to do is he's going to take the back of the fork. I'm just going to show them and you're going to see how soft Let's make sure they can see. I don't know if they're going to be able to see. That banana is. So okay. just use the back of the fork. I've already mashed up two bananas. So anywhere from two to three bananas. I have several bananas to use. Um, I also have some in back of me. What I can do with this is because I'm not going to make another loaf of banana bread, I'm just going to peel these bananas and then just put them in the freezer for the next time that we want to make banana bread. So this is the one thing that I make in school that Jake actually, actually eats at home too, right? Because you love mommy's banana bread. I make it. And you help me make it too, right? Okay, so while he's doing that, I'm going to make sure I have my salt. I have my flour. Again, it calls for sifted flour. So sifted flour is different than regular flour. You're going to sift a bunch of flour first. Then you're going to lightly spoon and measure. Have baking powder and baking soda. We're using two leavening agents in this recipe. And then sour cream. A lot of people say, ew, sour cream and banana bread? Okay, but the sour cream, you don't taste the sour cream, okay? What it, what it does for the banana bread is it makes it really, really moist. Okay, so that was easy, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, so there we go. We have everything. So we still have a couple more chunks, so I'm just going to mash a little bit more. And I'm not even going to measure this because I've made this so many times. They were medium-sized bananas, and I know that... This is about one cup, or what is it, a half cup over there? One cup or a half cup of bananas. I use three bananas one over cup. the top. One cup. Okay, so why don't you show them what you did to the recipe? So we laminated it and Jake colored it. colored it very nicely and made it all different colors. Okay, so we have a nice mashed banana here. So and now nice what we're. Menu. It looks like a nice menu. Okay, so we have our oven preheated. We're good to go at 350, and now we're just gonna put the ingredients together. So it says, in a large bowl, cream the butter and sugar using a wooden spoon or a rubber scraper. So do you wanna do that? To the cream together. And cream together. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your butter's at room temperature or nice and soft. So I actually put it in the microwave on defrost. Okay, to soften it up a little bit. So you see how it's nice and soft? So this should be much easier for us to cream together. So the cream is usually the cream, butter, and sugar together. If you want, you can actually just start softening that. I'm going to grab the sugar. So we have to make sure they can see it, though, on the, on the uh, video. Good. So it's really nice and soft this time around, right, Jake? Yep. Yeah. In the garbage. Okay, so while he creams that, I'm going to do... Another direction. Can Is I it okay if I do that? Scraper too. Okay. No, that's got sour cream on it, but that's okay. Because it's all going to go together anyways, right? Okay, so in another direction, I believe it's going to tell me. You're okay now. Just use the wooden spoon. Yeah. Get it off. All right, put it right there. Put it right there. Tells me in a medium sized bowl to sift the salt, the flour, the baking soda, and the baking powder. So it already called for sifted flour. But now we're going to re-sift it all together again. So you're going to carefully put it 
and through the sifter. Now, sometimes I make this in school, uh, in class, but a lot of the times I demonstrate it for you because we don't have a, a lot of time in class and I had bananas at home, so we thought we'd make another video because cooking no, is No, I coming. said I'm going to do it and you, said, and you didn't even say it. Well, you said you wanted to do it to show the students, yeah. right? Because they like watching Jake on the videos uh -huh. <laughs> because he likes to be funny, right? So I say they always ask, is Jake in the video? And I'll say no, and they're like, oh, well, thanks a lot, students, right? They like to see you, but you do make it fun, right? I know I wouldn't want to watch my family and consumer science teacher only if I had thinking back to my family and consumer science teacher, right? I didn't really care for my family and consumer science teacher, so I hope none of my students feel that way, right? She called a spatula a metal spatula. So my sister, Kara, oh, oh, look who's hair. <laughs> we have somebody in the background. It's, it's the LL family here tonight. Come they, on, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they've all come in today. I'm just watching and observing class. <laughs> I just heard you talking about a metal spatula. <laughs> Good night, class. Good night. Yeah, so my teacher used to call it a, a metal spatula. That's how she said it. Kind of, and I made fun of her. Kind of like some of my students were making fun of me the other day. The other day when I was demonstrating French toast in the seventh grade. How I, dare you? How dare they? They were making fun of me because they. I said syrup or syrup. I forgot how you Long Islanders say it. I'm sorry. I'm from upstate New York. And I do say things a little syrup. bit different syrup. than you Long Islanders, right? I'm a Long Islander. You are. You were born here a long. Wow, look at this. So Jake got this hey. all. I want to show them. He got it all together, nice and creamy, and it came together as one mass. Give so the egg. next ingredient, you're good. We have to add. Do you want to add the egg? So he got it all together nice and creamy, and it says to add the vanilla and lemon juice. So I actually put the vanilla and lemon juice together. So we're going to pop that in, and he's going to stir that in. And after that, it says to add the eggs one at a time and beating after each one. So we're going to do that too. Now, if you were at home and you had an electric mixer, you can do that too. It's okay. You want to... Okay, but we're using the wooden spoon and the rubber scraper because that's what you, we use in the classroom. I think it's better too because with quick bread, you have to be careful that you don't over mix your ingredients. So once I add uh, the dry ingredients in, you have to be very, very careful because that can cause over mixing. Okay? All right, so now we're going to add our egg. So I have my egg, that? egg in a custard bowl. Well, not a custard bowl, a little bowl because I don't have custard bowls here. So I'm going to use That's one. Bowl I use. That's one of the bowls that Jake uses for his little snacks. Of course, healthy snacks, right, Jake? Uh, no. 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 Right, no. And our cabinet is filled with junk. Oh, our cabinet is full of junk. You're not supposed to tell my students. So what does mommy have an addiction to? That are all different colors. Starburst. Never get here the orange or yellow. <laughs> right. Just red and pink. Right. All the fave red Starburst, right? If they want to sweeten up Mrs. Sour, that's all they got to give me, right? Fave red Starburst. All right, so he's creaming in. Let's show them a little bit. They can't really see it probably on the video, but he's getting all that egg combined in, and he was using the rubber scraper I or like the rubber spatula. Because he likes that better. So you got to swish it up against the side. Oh. So he still has some of the egg white. You got to actually stir it. Stir it good because I'm going to add another egg. So this is not where the over mixing comes into play. Very good. All right, you're going to stop for a moment. I'm going to add the other egg. My hair is falling out, but that's okay. I'm not going to touch it because then I'll have to wash my hands again. Okay, so mix that good. Just watch out because it's going to get us in the face next. And then the bananas, I believe, are going to come next. No, add, not yet. you yep, add in a minute, though. Add eggs one at a time, and then we're going to get these mashed bananas. Ooh, it looks brown. Well, that's what happens to bananas as they sit, oh. right? Kind of like an apple. They get brown, and they're tending, uh, they're oxidizing. It's can called. you make so that apple pie? You have to mix that in. What apple pie? You can make apple pie I, out of apples. I can make apple pie, but... 
I haven't made a pot in a long time. All right, so he's got that stirred in really well. You still, he has a lot of egg white that he has to stir in a little bit better. Got that. Okay. There you go. You're good. All right, we're going to stop. 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 Now he's going to stir in the banana. That doesn't look very good, right? Yeah. I'm going to eat that right it now. It smells good. It smells good, though. Banana. I like bananas, but bananas. Oh, Nana's got, uh, Nana's got special bananas she gets them at the BJ's. And, and she puts them in the fridge. She puts them in the fridge and you like cold bananas. But okay. I get bananas and he doesn't eat bananas. They have to come from BJ's. Mm -hmm. oh. Crazy child I have. Look. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? Crazy child? <gasps> Real nice child oh. I have. Oh my gosh. All right, so he's got them. All in, and then it says in a medium bowl. We did this already. We sifted it all together, and the next thing, so you're going to. What are we going to do? Put okay. it in. Oh, oh, we have to alternate our dry ingredients with the sour cream. So what I need no, is no, this. No. I need this. I have to show them something. <laughs> I need the rubber scraper. Okay. So we're gonna, the, the rubber scraper is the easiest thing to use to get the sour cream, so we're gonna alternate. Just I'm gonna do one, that. One moment, por favor. Okay, one minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna go half sour cream. Oh, I said un momento, por favor. This is where you can't over mix. So this is where Jake usually doesn't like to do the mixing. I do. Because this is where you can over mix and mess it up. I got So this. right now you're gonna very slowly very slowly. You can't go nuts mixing it. Very slowly, he's going to toss it and get it all combined. And while he's like doing this? that, and I'm watching him, mm -hmm, do it slowly or else the, the loaf isn't going to come out properly. I'm going to show you how to oh. grease and flour. We're back. We're going to try this one more time. I mixed the so flour. We're deleting everything. This is it. It's all mixed together. You want to make sure nothing is on the bottom yes. and what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to uh, grease the pan that we're going to use. So if we were in school we would use a loaf pan just one size. I actually have um, four smaller. <laughs> He's telling me to hurry in my ear. <laughs> hurry! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh! So I'm going to lightly grease where's my grease. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, so I'm going to grease the inside of each. And then I'm going to take a little bit of flour and I'm going to tap it all around. That's going to make it easier. So once it can has been it? cooked, yeah. you can sprinkle a little flour in and then I'm going to toss it around. Why? Okay, so it I doesn't know do four. it doesn't make four. So if it does four, they're not going to rise above the top um, of my pan here. Okay? Okay, so kind of. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, I told you we're going to do it, right? Go here. Take it. Okay, just don't get it all over. We're just taking a little bit of flour. Well, we didn't put any in there, so we don't really need it there. Okay. Is that okay? Move this to the side. Well, it's got to be now, right? Can I wash my hands? Yes. Okay, don't do anything behind my back. So I have a bunch of flour in there now, and I can see you. And I'm going to tap it all around. Right? Get it. Hey um, everybody! Um, I'm washing my hands. Okay, Jake. But I made it. Mostly you washing your hands. And then I'm going to go over to the garbage quickly. Oh 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 oh. Okay. Uh, so right now I'm all flour. Jake. So I'm all lightly floured in three, and then I'm going to scoop. Come over here, Jake. I, may, I need your help. I need your help. Come here, please. So this bowl is pretty heavy, so Jake's going to help me. And I'm going to pour. Can you hold that on the top? No, over here. Okay. All right, you know what? Forget it. We go. Do we still have storage space? Okay. So I'm going to try to make sure I have even amounts of the batter, so then they all rise evenly. Put a little bit more in there. And then if I get anything on the top of the pan, I'm gonna clean it off. Oh, before, you did, you before did. Before it goes in the oven. So can you grab a paper towel or something, please? And again, due to time, I'm not gonna scrape it all in. Got a 
big mess going on here. Yep, just take that. And wipe around. And then what I like to do is I like to tap this down. We're going to put this in the oven. It takes about uh, 30 minutes. If you were to use a bigger loaf pan, it could take up to an hour. So we'll, we'll, what do you do when you take it out, Jake? What you do, have to use... What do you put in it? Okay. You need um, oven, oven mitts, mitts or pot holders, right? And then when it comes out, it should have a golden color, and it should have a crack down the middle, and it should, Icon. And it should smell really, really good. So we're going to pop this in, and if I have time, I will show you uh, what it looks like um, at the end. iPad! And show them everything else you have. Go. 35 minutes of... Um, have gone by. Have gone by. And Mr. Shower is getting the bread right now. I'm really tired. <laughs> All right, so the bread has just come out. So what color should it be, Jake? <clears throat> Brownish. Brownish, nice golden brown. And what should it have down the middle? A cut. A cut or a crack. If you can see, don't know if you guys can see, but there's a crack down the middle of each of them. We've actually taken. I got a toothpick. Okay, we've actually taken our aprons off. And what Jake, be careful, that's hot. What Jake's okay. gonna do is he's gonna test it now because what you do is you would take a toothpick, you would insert it in the middle, and it should come out clean. Well, you don't want to insert out clean. Perfect. Let's try that one. Perfect. Wet. It's not wet. Wet is dry. It would be, needs to be all wet batter Boom. and perfect. So if I you did. look at we we rush. Can I have a little what? piece? That's hot. No, you have to wait 24 hours. Remember? Okay. So remember, I have to hide this banana bread. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you want your bread to sit for about 24 hours. I have a cookies and milk. Before you eat it, Jake's gonna have some cookies and milk. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, Dunkin's. The Mommy loves Dunkin's. Okay, Jake. Hopefully Mommy you... <laughs> loves Dunkin's. Love you. All right. I mean, hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked hope our you enjoyed video. video with Jake. Because he's not going to be allowed anymore. So banana bread by Jake. Ooh, 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 and.